Hello friends, in today's video I want to talk you through how I upcycled this little letter rack that once again I found in my local charity shop. So I start off by giving it a good clean just using a cloth and my all-purpose cleaner and then once I've got all of the dirt off I went over it with just a damp cloth to get any excess cleaning product off of it. It also had this nasty sticker on the back which did not want to come off so I picked it off to the best of my abilities and then I took a little bit of sandpaper and sanded the excess glue off. Then I painted it using this burgundy colour that I had left over from my last project. If you saw my last video you will recognise this paint, so I just painted the whole thing twice. Because this mix of burgundy paint is actually quite chalky, I didn't need to prime it. After I painted the whole thing twice in that burgundy colour to make sure that all of the white was gone, I took some of my blue colour. Once again, it's a mix of different acrylic paints and white chalk paint that I used to achieve kind of chalky texture but in the colour that I needed. And I create this blue faded effect just by using tiny little bits of paint and gently brushing it over where I need the paint to be. So as you can see, I just pick up a little bit of paint then I brush most of it off onto my cloth and then whatever is left on the brush I apply it to the letter rack. So it was actually really hard for me to get into the actual inside of the letter rack. I did my best to get, um, get in there as much as I could but my brush isn't small enough so it is what it is. And so I do this to the front, the sides, the back and also the bottom. Just kind of apply the blue paint wherever I feel like it's needed. Once I was done with the blue paint, I took some of my white chalk paint. The chalk paint that I use is by Rustoleum, And again, I just brush it over, putting more on the outside edges of the letter rack and kind of fading it out towards the middle. And again, I do it to the front, the back and the sides and the bottom of the letter rack. Then at the end, I took a smaller natural bristle brush and just splattered on some paint in places, um, mainly trying to get on the inside of the letter rack. And kind of the last decorating step that I did was uh, decorate the little leaves with my gilding waxes. So the waxes that I ended up using are all Art Alchemy waxes by Finnebar. So I have the gold, peacock and sweet rose, I believe. I will link to them in the description below if you wanted to have a look. And I just took a small acrylic brush and what I do is I just pick a little bit up with my brush and then apply it to the leaves. Usually I just use my fingers to apply waxes, however this time I wanted to keep it just for the leaves. So I needed to be a little bit more precise so I used the brush. And so I applied gold wax over the whole leaf. Once that was done I took the blue one in the colour peacock and I kind of applied it over the gold but making sure that you could still see the gold in places. And then after I applied the blue one, I take the pink wax and apply it over the top. And then once again, I take my white chalk paint and a natural bristle brush and I just apply a few more paint splatters, making sure that I also get the leaves as well. And then to seal the rack, I just used any Sloan clear wax. And I just take a larger natural bristle brush, pick a little bit up of wax, and then I just brush it on everywhere. And that, my friends, is the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little upcycle. But yeah, let me know what you think to this quick little project. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please make sure to leave those in the comments below. If you would like to connect with me on any of my other social media, you can find links for that in the description as well. Like I said, you will find links for all of the products used in this video in the description below. I try to find as many links as I can for both UK and US, but if you are somewhere outside of those countries, at least if you have a look at one of them links, it might give you an idea for what to look for. And yeah, as always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!